They've deployed 4,000 crews in anticipation of this storm. That's the largest deployment they've seen in decades. And this is going to be the biggest storm, it looks like, since 1991 when Hurricane Bob uh, came through this area. This is Long Island Sound, which is typically calm. That's what we're seeing now with an offshore wind. But with these rain bands coming in and when the tide comes up, we will see a higher water for sure. But what we've seen is a lot of water across New Jersey and uh, parts of New York City overnight from enhanced bands. Back in Connecticut, we have to go to Rhode Island to like batten down the hatches because we're like relatively close to the water. We're close enough to the water where like we should be concerned. to Rhode Island and now we got to prepare and put everything in. It is about 9.30 p.m. and we got to bring everything inside and then probably head back tonight because it looks like it's going to be pretty bad in the morning. We might decide to stay over and leave at like 6.30 a.m. Might not. We're kind of just looking at all the weather apps and at all the um, news and all all the different sources of information and trying to figure out exactly how bad it's going to be when basement right now so basically we have to worry about flooding so everything that's like sitting on the floor of the basement has to get picked up and like put on a level above in case water splashes in from all the rain and the wind and we're a little elevated so we don't have to worry about it too much but if it's a few inches stuff can really get damaged and we have to put it on tables and on shelving and stuff so that's what we're doing right now. So we ended up deciding to spend the night here and then leave at six o'clock tomorrow morning in the rain and stuff because it's not gonna be that bad first thing and then it's gonna get bad and that that would be kind of easier than leaving now at like midnight. Time to pack up, run to the car, and get going. The rain has lightened up slightly. Wind has not. Check, check, time to go for a ride. Come on. Let's go, let's go on for a ride. We're in the car, we're stopping at the beach to get a look at everything before we hit the road. This is wild and it's only just started. Like this isn't even like the actual hurricane. This is like the hours leading up to the hurricane. It is 6.53 a.m. I rushed and made some coffee before I headed out in this to-go mug. It didn't come out very good, but whatever.
my hood keeps blowing off in the wind. There are people actually surfing out there. Right, right over there. We made it out okay. The drive out of Rhode Island was fine. It wasn't too bad, just a little rain. The storm's really gonna kick in this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we made it back, took a shower, changed, and now, now we wait. This branch right here is about as bad as it got. So uh, nothing really worth worrying about. Pretty, pretty lackluster ending. A hurricane coming and destroying your house is bad even though it would probably make for a very interesting vlog. So, you know, I hope everyone else who was in the, the, the hit area up here in the Northeast ended up okay. Nobody ended up with too many scratches on them. But, you know, looking around when we were driving and coming in, it didn't look like any of the houses or anything had gotten any real damage. You know, there were no trees over and no, like, decks collapsed or, you know, any of those, you know, crazy things you, you know, would see, obviously you haven't seen everything, but like we were in the, the the direct hit area and everyone seems fine. So hopefully everyone else is uh, fine too. Here at the beach, everything still looks ominous, but there's like no destruction, which is good. It's what you want. You want everything to be okay. All the restaurants and the shops and the stores are still kind of shut down and boarded up because I think everyone was expecting it to be much worse. Uh, people are kind of slowly trickling back in to, uh, you know, unpack the damage, which again, like I've been saying, luckily, you know, has been pretty minimal. This is obviously the aftermath, but it looks very similar to like the before math, where it's all just like cloudy and it looks like it's so like open up but really this is already past the end of it. It's just like stormy for the aesthetic, if not so much for the actual event. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. See ya. Peace.